Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be working on something pretty interesting, and it's called the Mage. Uh, well, it's not called the Mage, it's called Mage, and it's the Magento command line tool. And you can actually see this tool by going to your site's file structure. If we go to uh, our folder, our, our root folder here, uh, you can scroll down and you'll see this Mage file. And what kind of file is this? If we inspect it, um, it's going to come up and just say it's in a Unix executable file. So it might not be something you're familiar with, but it's really super useful. And Mage can do all sorts of great stuff with uh, one line of command line. You can install extensions. You can upgrade extensions. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. And we want to check it out. In future lessons, we're going to be using this to install extensions and all sorts of cool stuff. So this lesson is going to be about how to get Mage ready. And then we're just going to do a simple Mage command. So open up your terminal. If you're on a Mac, it's this terminal app right here. And if you are working off of a server that your site's already live on, um, you probably won't want to do this. Uh, you can you can via SSH, but uh, if it's your production live site, you're probably not going to be wanting to edit that anyways. Um, for fear that you know you could you might want to have a development site ready to try this on. So. This is our, uh, I've browsed into our sites directory and I'm just going to do CD into my Magento folder. Actually, I don't think it's capitalized, there we go. And you can see we have all these files here and we need to make sure that the permissions are correct on this. So we're going to type chmod, chmod 700 and we're gonna select this file mage. And so now uh, we've been considering doing a course purely on command line. It's really useful to learn these commands. Uh, you can really just get a ton done really easily with the terminal. Um, so if that would be interesting to you, let us know in the comments. It's something we've been kicking around. And I, I mean, really, terminal skills and just command line skills in general will come in handy more often than not, I suppose. So we're going to change the permissions on this file to 700. And we're going to hit enter. It doesn't really tell you anything, but that's it. And now we want to type period forward slash and then mage. Hit enter. And you should see this. This is a list of all the commands that mage can do. So you can install packages, you can list available packages, and a lot of this stuff's relating to extensions. So a lot of cool stuff you can do with extensions, you can upgrade a package, you can upgrade all packages, um, just a lot of cool stuff. However, what's one really easy thing that we can do with this, and that might be a pain to do in the Magento? Uh, well, if we scroll up here, you see there's this clear cache command. It's hy clear hyphen cache. And uh, that's a great one to try out because if we come into here and if we had caching turned on, um, let's go to our site's admin section. Oops. So I'm just going to go to the admin section and let's say we wanted to clear the cache normally. Okay, well, I got to log in. And then after I log in, I have to go to cache management. Um, let's get rid of this system, cache management. I then have to select all of these and uh, flush the cache or refresh the cache. And that takes a little while and it's, it's just not very quick. If I had my terminal open and I'm here, I could do period forward slash mage and then clear hyphen cache, enter, and our cache is cleared. So this is uh, the very basics of using Mage. Like I said, in future lessons, we're going to go over a bunch of this other stuff, and it could be very useful to you. In fact, this is the only way I install, install extensions on my sites, because it's just so darn easy, and it works every time. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Uh, you know, like I said, let us know about that uh, command line series if that's something you'd find interesting. Otherwise, you know, leave a comment or question in this video if you have them and hit us up on Twitter or Facebook. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.